Today in handwriting, we are learning cursive letter T, lowercase letter T. If you look at letter T, you can already see that it's different from the other letters that we have written. The other letters we wrote were from the middle line to the red line, T actually goes above the middle line. T does not fill the entire line. As you can see, it's stopped at this dotted line here, but it still does go above the middle dotted line. We'll go ahead and begin writing T. T starts on the red line. First thing you do is you're going to curve up and you're going to stop at this line. Again, you're going to curve up, stop here. Whenever you stop here, go back down the same line. Go back down the same line, eventually it splits, kick it out, and guess what's the last thing I do? Cross my T. Just like when we wrote letter I, we had to finish the letter first before we dot it. Same thing with letter T. You finish the entire letter first before you cross your T. You never stop in the middle of writing to cross the T. You always wait until you are finished. So if I'm writing the word bet, I finish, then I cross my T. Why? Because again, yesterday I told you that cursive writing, all the letters are connected. If you are stopping in the middle of writing, it's not going to look neat. You want to make sure that you finish it. You have everything connected all the way through before you cross. And that's not only with T and I and then capital F, but we'll get to capital F later. But with T and I, remember you got your I and you cross your T after you are finished writing the entire letter. Again, T will curve up. You come straight down kick it out and then cross again curve up straight down the same line then it will kick out then you cross straight up this is what happens when you don't go down the same line Ooh, looks like an A we don't want it to look like an A make sure whenever you're writing T the same line that you go up is the same line you come back down. It does split whenever you get to the bottom, but you don't try to split it. Now, don't follow the line all the way down. Whenever you go up, come straight down the same line, and then it splits on its own. And then you cross your T last. Again, you're going to curve up, straight down the same line, it splits, then you cross your T last. In your book, you also have where you are connecting T to your other letters. One letter that you are connecting T to is letter A and letter E. All the rest of the letters, when we connect T, it's pretty simple. If you're connecting T, E, you're just going to do your T, then do E, then cross it. Again, T, then you go into E, cross your T. When we do T, U, same thing. We're going to do T, then we do our U, then we cross. Remember, we learned E and U already. Again, whenever I do T, U, I do T, then I add my U, then I cross. Now, whenever we connect T, O, or T, A, we write those a little differently. Whenever we connect T, A, we will start writing our T, but when we go to write our A, we have to do, we have to follow a certain way to write the letter A. And that is because if we don't follow this way, it's going to look very close together. So to make sure that we have the proper spacing between our letters, whenever I write A, I start with my T. What I do is I go halfway with my A. I go halfway, then I come back around, and then I close the A, cross my T. Let me show you that again. I'm gonna start with the T. When I start to do A, I go halfway, then I come back around, finish off my A. This is what happens if I don't follow that rule. So if I just write A the regular way that we learned it, it doesn't look too good and it's very close. And with cursive writing, you wanna make sure that your letters are split apart from another because they are connected they have to have good space between them so that you can read it and so that someone else can be able to read it you don't want it to be too close so whenever i write ta again i do t 
I go halfway with the A, then I come back around to close it, down, kick it out, cross my T. <clears throat> the same rule applies whenever I do T O. Same exact thing. I start with the T. I do O halfway. I come back around and then I loop the O out. Just like I showed you on yesterday, how we loop the O, you do that same thing. Again, I go up to do the T, halfway to do O, and then I come back around, loop it out, and it's finished. <clears throat> Anytime you are connecting O or A to any letter, that is how you write it. You start it halfway, then you come back around, but I'll show you every time we do it, but that's a rule to remember. Anytime I connect A and O, I have to go halfway, then I come back around to finish it. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to show you up here. So this is T, then halfway to do A, around, close it, then T, O, T, halfway around to do O, then close it and cross. Whenever I do T-I, same thing as T-E and T-U, I just simply write it. If I do T, but remember, I don't cross in that until I am finished writing the entire thing. So if I'm doing T-I, I start with the T, do the I, cross my T, dot my I last. That is cursive letter T. You can do your workbook page on today. If you do not have your workbook page, that's okay. Practice on loose leaf paper. You can practice letter T and connecting each vowel to letter T as well.